Okay, so we'll start with the prayer. All of you sit straight, back and neck straight, spine straight. Close your eyes gently. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, slowly exhale. Inhale for Om. Om. Oh. Oh. Shanti. Shanti, Shanti. Rub your palms together. Put them on your face, on your eyes. And gently come back. Okay. So what did we study yesterday? What topics did we cover yesterday? Anyone there? You all are mute. You please uh, unmute yourself. We studied the uh, school. Uh, and the different bones within the um, within the uh, skull or the, the cranium. The sound is uh, very low, so I cannot hear what you're saying. But then we don't see you. Uh, please uh, write in chat box. Uh, we studied the cranial bones. Please write in the chat box. Which chat box? How I, I, I open it? Yeah, please. Right I open that. I hear. Yeah, that one. Bones. Okay. Uh, Okay, so what all we have in cranial bones? Yes, I know you cannot see me. I have not turned on my camera yet. Okay, so you studied cranial bones. We are not missing anything. Tell me. <laughs> yes, frontal. Okay, type of bones. Now, uh, name of bones and cranial bones. Any name? Okay, good. Spinoid, parietal, temporal, occipital. Very good. Okay, so let's start afresh. Uh, we studied time Oops. They are divided into two. Axial and Appendicular. Okay, we were studying. We were studying appendicular yesterday. Okay, so in appendicular, sorry, we, we were studying axial. You studied axial yesterday. Oh, yeah, I see. 
In axial, we had cranial. We study cranial. Can you put your camera better to the desk, please? I cannot read. We cannot read. This. I cannot hear what you are saying. Can you put the camera like more close to the desk? Close. Okay. Closer. Yeah. Better now. Yep. And yeah, much better. Better? Yeah. yeah, much better. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yes. So both these come in skull. Then we have yeah. thoracic yeah. In thoracic cage, we studied, you know, without the sound, it's very, not very pleasant to teach. Okay, in thoracic cage, we studied sternum and rib cage. There we have 12 pairs, seven true. And five balls. And out of this five, three and two floating. Okay. In cranial, we have eight bones. Facial, we have 14 bone, mandible, and maxillary. Sternum. Three bones fused to one. Okay. Then we have after thoracic we have vertebral column. In this. Okay. So we studied axial. Skull and thoracic cage yesterday. Today we have to cover vertebral column. All right. So, uh, what do we have in vertebral column? We have C1 to C7, T1 to T12, L1 to L5, then sacrum. And coccyx. Okay, so you see, I told you that in rib cage there are twelve pairs. Okay, and these twelve pairs are originating from the vertebral column. So, can you tell me that from where these are originating? Any guesses where from which portion out of these this rib cage is originating? If you can guess. Anyone? Okay. No one. Okay. So. You see 12 here. And you see 12 here. So the rib cage is originating from the thoracic region of vertebral column. Okay, we have seven bones here, 12 bones here, and five here. These are five, okay, in a child, but they get fused into one, and coccyx is one. Okay, coccyx is the tail bone, the last bone of vertebral column. It starts with cervical region, Okay, C1 to C7. This, it starts over here. Okay, then thoracic region starts here after the cervical region. So T1 to T12. So, you see, from T1, first pair of rib is originating. From T2, second pair, and so on from T12, the 12th pair of rib cage is originating. Okay. So let me show you a picture of vertebral column. Okay, 
here you see seven cervical vertebrae c1 to c7 okay this is forming cervical curve then we have 12 thoracic vertebrae t1 to t12 okay then we have five lumbar vertebrae t1 l1 to l5 okay and then sacrum and coccyx fused vertebrae of sacrum and coccyx form this sacrococcygeal curve okay any doubt you see this uh, this portion okay this is called sacrococcygeal curve Okay, so later you'll see that this portion, this portion, it will form pelvic girdle. It is a part of a vertebral column and then later we will see it will become, we'll study it in the uh, pelvic girdle. You can take screenshot of this. Okay. Okay, here you see we have this picture in which you can see all the bones, okay, the skeletal system itself. So here we have studied frontal bone, nasal bone, temporal bone, zygomatic bone, maxilla and mandible. Okay, hmm. then you see sternum here, okay, and uh, with sternum there are ribs, and from the back we see parietal, occipital, temporal bone, then first verte cervical vertebrae, second cervical vertebrae, okay, and then you see the whole uh, vertebral column, okay. Okay. Any doubt in this? Uh, wait. Hold on. You want to take screenshot? You can take screenshot. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, now we will see appendix. Okay, in appendix, what do we study? We study limbs. And what do we study? We study pelvic girdle and rest of the body. Okay, this is the appendicular bones, limbs. Okay, it's covering the limbs, upper and lower, upper limb and lower limb. That is arms and legs. Then we have pelvic girdle and pectoral girdle. The joint. Pelvic girdle is the joint where your legs, 
legs are attaching to the torso okay it is attaching this this is pelvic girdle okay then here this this is and this is hip joint okay so what do we have in our arms okay how many bones do we have in our arm any guesses three how many bones we have in our arms three three okay your answer can be current but correct but then it uh, tell me which three uh, the two in the forearms and one in your huh two in the forearms and one in the whatever the other uh, higher up okay so suppose this is the arm but if you're including if you're including the hand i'm guessing it's over 20 right because you got the humerus the radius and the ulna okay are you studying this from some book uh no i i studied it many years ago okay good good because when i'm asking new fresh topics i do not want any one of you to study from the book to read from the book okay so you are right but partially okay you said there are three bones there are three bones one here and two here okay so there are three bones in upper arm and forearm but we have bones in the palm oh. also okay this is not boneless this also has a oh. lot of bones okay and this this has many bones because you see you can do so many kind of movements okay why because there are small little bones whereas you cannot move this you can only move from here or here okay but here we can do so many kind of movements because there are so many bones here you see these okay three bones yeah. two bones and there are also you can feel some you know long kind of bones and then here we have something we do not know what it is but there is something okay so in arms we have this humerus okay then we have here radius and ulna okay these are the three bones of upper arm and forearm then here radius okay. in this in this we have carpals carpals oh metacarpals and phalanges yes carpals and very good then we have one two, one two three four five metacarpals then we have phalanges we have phalanges phalanges are divided into three parts you see this carpals then here here we have metacarpals and then phalanges okay phalanges you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 14 okay so <clears throat> we have 14 phalanges and how they are divided you see i told you proximity and distal something that's near the origin is called proximal something at away from the origin is distal so we have proximal 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay at the origin we have five proximal 
then distal one two three four and five okay then in between in between is called medial okay it's called middle or medial so one two three four in thumb on, we have only two bones okay only two bones one and two so proximal and distal and in fingers we have one two three four middle thumb is different now yes please is the thumb different the thumb is different okay so this is about the upper limb that is arm then we have the lower limbs that is legs okay in legs what do we have okay so the anatomy of a leg is similar to that of an arm okay similarly we have humerus here and fibula and tibia fibula and tibia and this is femur femur yeah one one and one then again we have we have tarsus metatarsus metatarsus and then we have similarly for lunges sorry is the knee cap not a bone you see i cannot hear what you say so you'll have to send me in chat box okay uh, i can hear yeah. just some sound but i do not understand what you say okay so in matter uh, in phalanges we have again same proximal yeah. middle and distal again these are five these are four and these are five in number what about the knee cap yes knee cap is there here okay it is small <clears throat> now better you can read now can you read now yes okay good don't worry i'll send you pictures of this okay okay i'll give you good pictures yeah you can take screenshot of this okay wait wait you want to take screenshot yes please okay okay <clears throat> okay it's done okay yeah okay so yes the arm hmm so here we see structure of 
humerus that this is the structure of the hand upper limb we have arm forearm and hand okay so here they they have shown humerus separately okay the front view and the back view you can take screenshot of this then we have a radius and ulna and then we have phalanges so here in uh, purple color we see carpals yellow metacarpals green proximal phalanges then blue we have middle phalanges and the topmost is distal phalanges so we have covered the actually this arm upper arm is called arm and forearm is called forearm and hand okay so in arm we have humerus for arm we have ulna and radius in hand we have carpals metacarpals proximal phalanges middle phalanges and distal phalanges you can take screenshot okay then we have legs Okay, so you have seen the photo. So you you took the screenshot of that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that was uh, tibia and fibula, and uh, about the patella, we'll study later. Okay, the uh, knee cap, we'll study that later, yeah, especially. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope. there is no doubt in these topics okay let's uh, see them again okay so the appendicular or uh, these okay joint uh, the limbs upper limb and lower limb arms and legs upper limbs are called arms lower limbs are called legs okay then we have pelvic girdle that is the hip joint and pectoral gird or pectoral girdle also called as shoulder joint okay so in arm we have humerus okay in upper arm we have humerus in upper arm then radius and ulna in the forearm then the palm okay in the palm we have what all we have we have carpals then we have metacarpals then we have phalanges here you see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 and 14 in thumb we have only two so the one which are at origin of 
the finger is called proximal phalanges which is at the distance is called distal phalanges which is in between is called middle phalanges so we have proximal 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 and proximal we have distal 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 and distal no middle then here we have middle 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 okay so that is the anatomy of the arm okay then we have leg in leg what do we have thigh bone that is femur then we have lower leg fibula and tibia and also patella kneecap okay then we have tarsus metatarsals the long bones and we have phalanges just like this we have phalanges in the foot also in similarly we have proximal middle and distal five proximal five distal and four middle phalanges okay so that is it and now we have pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle Hmm. Okay. So we have pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle. Pectoral girdle is also called the shoulder. And pelvic girdle also called as hip joint. So in this, in shoulder joint, what all do we have? We have clavicle bone. And scapula. Then in hip joint, we have uh, ilium, ischium, okay, they, these are the several bones in pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle. This clavicle bone, okay, clavicle bone is also called as collar bone. And scapula is also called as shoulder blade. Okay. Then each chair is also called as sit bones. Hmm. You can take screenshot of this. Yes, this is collar bone. Ah, okay. This, 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 this clavicle bone. Okay. Yes. Collar bone. Okay. And that carapoid you're asking, it is a type of tarsal. Okay. Uh, we have seven tarsals, so one of the bones is called carapod. Okay. Yes, so pectoral girdle and pelvic girdle. Pectoral girdle is, it looks like, okay, you can take screenshot of this, and then we'll move forward. Thank you. 
Okay, so what does a pectoral girdle look like? Okay, this here we have. Okay, something like this. So this is clavicle. This is scapula. And this is, can you tell me the name of this bone? Name of this bone. Okay, so this one is collarbone. Okay, this at the back, this is shoulder blade. Okay, so this is the, and here we have sternum. This is sternum. Hmm. So now can you tell me? Name of this bone, humerus, yes, very good. Okay, so this is what pectoral girdle looks like. I'll show you an image of pectoral girdle. Okay, so here we have uh, pectoral girdle in yellow. Okay, this clavicle bone and then we have scapula. Okay, it is not in one plane. Okay. This clavicle is in the frontal, okay, frontal part. You can touch your collar bones, okay. And then scapula is the posterior bone. Hmm? It's behind the rib cage. So uh, this is uh, not in one plane. Clavicula is in front and scapula is in the posterior part. And then from this clavicle and scapula, this combination, it helps in attachment of the upper limb, that is the humerus. It forms that uh, ball and socket joint with the clavicle and scapula. Okay. You can take a screenshot of this. Okay. Then we have pelvic girdle. Hmm. So in pelvic girdle, it's see my drawing is not so good. I'll share with you pictures, but this is an outline. Okay. So, it looks like a butterfly, okay, and then, So this butterfly kind of structure looks like pelvic girdle. Okay. So this topmost part, this topmost part is called ilium. This bottommost part is called ischium. Okay. And then this. It's coming from behind to front. Okay, this is at the back. 
this is the front okay this is the posterior part and this is the anterior part okay so this is this all it's in 3d okay so this is pubis yes and this portion can you tell what this is this. Huh? you can send in chat box bottom of spine yes coccyx yes okay tell me which one is coccyx this upper portion or this lower portion This say upper or lower. Cox. And this is sacrum. Yes. So this is your pelvic girdle. Okay. Like this is not your pelvic girdle. This is an outline of pelvic girdle. Yes. Okay. So I'll give you. You want to take screenshot? Please take. Okay. So now let's take. Uh, we don't the see it, ma'am. You, you didn't uh, take the screenshot? No, you are too fast. Okay. I'll uh, give you time later. Okay. So here you see ilium, the topmost part. Then we see ischium. Okay. And pubis is not very clear here. Okay. You, but you can see sacrum and the coccyx. Okay, this lower part, this brown thing, the lower part of this brown structure is coccyx. I, you can, you take screenshot of this and then I'll share yeah. another picture. Yes, take off this one. Okay, so let's, See a picture for pubis. Please do not talk. Mute yourself if you want to talk. Like mute your phone. Okay, so here. You, you can see pubis here. This... Uh, So this is pubis. Mm. You have taken screenshot? Now you can take off this. Yes. Okay. So tell me, what did we study today? We studied the appendicular bones. In appendicular bones, what all types we studied? The four types. Tell me the names. Bones of arm, leg, shoulder, and hip. Okay, tell me the bones of... I want others to respond also. Okay, so tell me. Uh, anyone other than Harry? Okay, please tell me the bones of arm. Humerus, radius, and ulna. Yes. Uh, can you please tell who you are? Because your sound is very clear. Christine. Christine. Okay. I couldn't hear you clearly. Whereas Harry and others, I cannot hear. Harry, can you speak? Yes, I can speak. Yeah, it's very clear. Even for you, it's clear. So you don't have to uh, send in chat box. You can talk. Okay, tell me the name of uh, uh, arms. Repeat it, please. Bones of an... Yes, please. First, radius, owner. 
Yes, of arm and then of palm. Carpals, metacarpals, mm. phalanges. Yes, phalanges types. Proximal, oh. middle, distal. Yeah. Yes, okay. So other than you, uh, someone please tell me the bones of a leg. Please tell me the bones of a leg. It's femur, patella, fibula, tibia, um, yes. torpals, metatorsals, phalanges. Very good. And uh, uh, the phalanges type of the leg, type of phalanges? Proximal, middle, and distal. Okay, proximal, yes. How many proximals we have? In foot. How many proximal phalanges we have in the foot? Five. In and how many distal we have in foot? Five. And uh, the third one, which is the third one? Middle. And there are yes, four. How many? Yes. Okay. Is it same in arms in the palm or it is different? Same. Same. Yes. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me the name of uh, the pectoral girdle? The shoulder scapula. Yes, clavicle and scapula. Clavicle is also called which bone? Collarbone. Collarbone. Yes, and scapula is also called? Shoulder blade. Shoulder blade. Yes, good. Okay. And how many bones we have in, like what all bones we have in the pelvic girdle? Three. Okay, name them. Ilium, ischium, and pubis. Okay, good. And uh, uh, any other bone that is attaching to the pelvic girdle? This term? Any other uh, bone that you can see in the pelvic girdle other than these three? Femur. Femur, yes. Femur will attach here. Okay. And what else bone? Which other bone you can see in pelvic girdle? Coxic. She said ilium, ischium, and pubis. Okay, what other bone do we see in pelvic girdle? The sacrum? No. Yes, and? And the coccyx. Yes, very good. Yes, yes. Okay, so if anyone has any doubt, you can ask. We are done for today. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Christine. Anyone else? Thank you. Magdalena, thank anyone thank at the Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so anyone who has doubt can stay back. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Okay. See you tomorrow. Caroline, any doubt? Anyone at Deputra has any doubt? No, thank you. Okay, have a great day. You too. Okay, Carolyn, any doubt? Okay, then see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Om Shanti.